They say if we'll only avoid, avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love. Going on, world. It's a Wee Tastic Warrior here, and I'm back. Haven't made a video in a long time. I feel like I feel like it's at least been a month. Where have I been? Uh, been doing a lot of hiking lately. Uh, going up to the Shenandoah Mountains up here in Virginia with my dog, and uh, we did an 18-mile hike one weekend. And this past weekend, or two weekends ago, me and my wife went up with the dog again to the same place and did some hiking. Uh, and also, I just wanted to uh, make sure that I'm putting out, you know, uh, quality and not just quantity, you know. I want to get my message out there. I want to, you know, I believe that I have something to give the world. And I want to give it as fast as I possibly can. But I also want to make sure that it's quantity, you know. I don't want to just, you know, say things and then go back and uh, look at them in the future and be like, man, what was I putting out? That wasn't substance. Maybe that was guiding somebody in the wrong direction. And I never want to do that. But uh, pretty much I wanted to make this video uh, today on my phone. I hope it's good quality. Uh, about don't be so set on the person that you believe you are and the reason and how I believe we can get away from that is by first I have to talk about is who do we believe we are all right for me before I went into my spiritual journey I believed that I was a kid like I was a guy that I was a mixed guy black and white that couldn't really fit in I was depressed I was angry I was just getting out of the military I was a veteran I was all these things you know, and I was all those things because I was told I was those things, and partially from myself and from others. So the reason that I feel that I am able to constantly shed skins, pretty much, of who I was the day before is because now I realize that I am constantly forever changing, and so are you. Because the universe is constantly forever changing. You know, we are always have, we have choices uh, this way or that way. That choice that you make this way or that way is now going to affect somebody else's choice, you know. And it's just a ripple effect. So nothing is ever going to stay the same. You'll never be the same person you were the day before. You might think you are just because you are doing the same actions or same habits. But, entire, and, but in fact, you're not. Because who are we? We are just reflections of our day-to-day -day interactions with other people, our environment around us, just our interactions with the universe. You know, if you think about it, you go out of your house and you're like, all right, I want to be this. Okay, so we set out to be this something. And then and while we're doing, our, uh, while we're on our path to become this something, we realize that certain people, like when we do this, so we realize, you know what, that makes me feel good when other people feel good about me or things I do. So let me do a little bit more of that. And then we see some things that people don't do or people don't like about us. And then we're like, oh, well, let's not do that. Or let me not do that in private. Well, let me do that in private. And, you know, for a while, when we're younger, that's easy. You tend to, you know, just keep on making these different changes in life. But after a while... I tend to realize that everybody in our lives, every single person alive, can make the mistake easily by changing more things that we truly do love and do them in private and do a lot more things that we don't like to do in public. And that's why I say don't be afraid to shed your skin, all right? This, how do I put this? The world is forever changing. The media today is... Oh my goodness, you can never stick to, you know, a side. And that's why I tell you, you don't have to pick a side. There's no side to pick anymore. Alright, and why why I wanted to make this video is because, you know, we've been battling, alright, is it black or is it white? Is it police or is it civilians? Is it the government or is it us? Hmm. Well, I realized, in so far in my spiritual journey, how is the greatest way to conquer a society, or a village, or any group, 
you divide them. You just tell the whites and the blacks, look at how much you're different. You can't be alike. You tell the police, look at all those bad, bad people out there. They're going to shoot you. You tell the civilians, don't trust the cops. They're going to shoot you. More and more divide. So then, you get just people profiting off of it, right? It's summer 2017, and we're still, as a society, arguing about an election that happened almost a year ago. We, we spend a lot of time focusing on things that really don't matter. I'm going to tell you what the purpose of life is right now. I found it. I have truly found the purpose of life. You ready? And you can tell me I'm wrong, and you can keep on going your life not believing it. But the true purpose of life is happiness. That is it. That is the only reason you're here. To receive happiness. To spread happiness. You are happiness. You are experiencing the same type of experience I am through the same eyes. We are one. And how to become one is truly, truly realize that the only thing that is different is the things that we, is our, perceptive, is our perspective of things. A lot of things we fear is because we don't understand. It is truly, truly time to come together. Realize that, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this one thing and I'm gonna get off. Cause I got some stuff to do. I wanna go do another workout and stuff. But, uh, you know, I'm a mixed man, and a lot of my life I've experienced racism. Racism from all sides. I can't just put out one. But one thing I don't accept is when people will talk bad about a black person to me, or a white person to me, or any type of person to me. Because, you know, I've heard people say to me, well, I, I, I don't like black people, but I'm cool with you. Why are you cool with me? Because I, you know me? Because you let the guard down? You got to know me? You realize that I'm just another beautiful person? Whoa. What if you did that to all the people you thought were just worthless pieces of poop? What if we all did that? What if you lived a life not really giving a shit about if people are gay. It's pretty cool. What if you gave a crap, or didn't give a crap, I'm sorry, about if people were actually watching you? What if you could liberate yourself from the actual thoughts that people actually care about you, or actually really focused on you, that you are so stressed out about impressing others? What if you could truly live your life and come together and be one? You can. And to do that, you have to shed that skin. Figure out who you are. Don't worry about impressing people. Impressing people? I ain't trying to impress nobody. Because realistically, majority of people, and this is not even my ego, man. Realistically, as I observe, majority of people I've been trying to impress in my entire life, I surpassed a long time ago. The only people that tell you you can't change are the ones that don't, don't know how to change. The only people that ain't going to believe in you are the people that don't believe in themselves. The only people that don't, aren't going to be able to be happy to you are people that aren't going to be happy with themselves. Realize that. You are exactly what you dish out. So dish out some good stuff. Alright? Take a deep breath. Remember, be who you want to be. Shed that skin every single day. Wake up. Say, who am I going to be today? Think about what you did yesterday. One thing I've started... I know I told you I was going to get off there, off here, but one thing I have started, and I highly suggest for anybody, it's just when you get in bed at night, you think about your day and you rewind it back. From the moment you got in bed all the way back to the moment you got out of bed in the morning. Pick out what you liked, pick out what you didn't, and each day you strive to be great. And I know you will. I think big things are coming, man, and women. 
big things are coming. I thank you all for the support. Love, peace, and hair grease. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share my channel. Follow me on uh, Twitter at Weedtastic Warrior. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Weedtastic Warrior. Uh, follow me on YouTube here at We uh, Weedtastic Warrior 420. Um, yeah. Have a beautiful day. And I hope you can tell. I've been losing some weight, but doing a lot of, you know. I bought some gymnastic rings the other day, so you should see me soon. Lord of the Rings. Ha, 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 ha.